Hi everyone, welcome to Interview Pro. In this video, let's talk about job dependencies in GitHub workflows. In the last few videos, we learned how to build Angular application using GitHub workflows and how to upload built artifacts. Let's say we have another workflow which is responsible for deploying the Angular application. So once the build has been completed, it has to trigger the deployment workflow. The deployment workflow should run only after the build workflow has been successfully run. Let's see how we can achieve this dependency in GitHub workflow. Let's open the workflow where we have implemented uh, steps to build Angular application. I'm going to update the same workflow. You can rename this workflow uh, to Angular CI CD or build and deploy Angular, but I'm not going to uh, make any update to the name. I'll simply edit this file. Now we have jobs, but this jobs has only one job, which is build Angular. Similar to this, I want to create another job, which is deploy Angular. So let's create another job. Make sure that the indentation is proper. Let me copy paste this and update the job name to deploy Angular. So every job runs on a particular uh, virtual machine or a runner. So for build, we used Ubuntu latest as the runner. Uh, I want to use the same runner here. There are different runners like Ubuntu, Windows. So you can choose any uh, runner of your choice. I am choosing Ubuntu latest. Now every job should have at least one step. So I'll create steps colon. And the name of the step is, uh, uh, let me just put the uh, test and I'll simply echo test step. Let me commit these changes and see how these jobs run. So commit and commit again. If we go to actions, this workflow has already triggered. Now this has two jobs, build Angular and deploy Angular. Build Angular started running. Deploy Angular has completed already. So, but our goal is to complete the build Angular job first and then trigger deploy Angular. So in order to do that, let's go back to build Angular workflow, edit this, so in GitHub workflow, we have an option called needs. Using needs, we can specify the dependencies. For example, deploy Angular job is dependent on build Angular job. So let me add another keyword here, needs. Here we can specify the list of jobs that deploy Angular job depends on. In our case, it's just one job, which is build Angular. So you can copy this build Angular name and put it here. Let's commit the changes. Commit. If we go to actions, now, if we look at these jobs, we see there is a dependency created between these jobs. First, build Angular job will run, then deploy Angular will run. If the build Angular job fails for some reason, it won't trigger the deploy Angular job. Let's see if uh, this triggers deploy Angular job once the build is completed. Now, build job is completed. It started triggering deploy angular job. So this is waiting for the runner to be allocated and this has already completed. If we go to summary, we see both these jobs are completed. Let's try to introduce an error in uh, build angular job. So edit this file and uh, uh, maybe I'll say upload one, two, three. This action is not available, so it has to throw error. Let's commit the changes and commit. If we go to actions, build Angular. So this has generated a error 
in the setup job itself we see unable to resolve action upload one two three artifact repository not found so that's why it did not trigger the deploy angular this job is skipped so when you use needs it will first wait for the dependency dependencies that we have mentioned in needs only if they are successful it will be triggering the actual job that uses this dependency now let's go back go to build angular remove this one two three if we have multiple dependencies in our case it's just build angular let me introduce another uh, job i'll introduce a test job here or maybe job two I'll say job two. This is a simple job that has a test or yeah, test step. Now this deploy angular job should depend on job two and also build angular. If we want to specify multiple dependencies, you can use the array notation here. So inside array will specify all dependencies. Now let me commit and commit. If we go to actions, we see a new workflow. Now build and job two and deploy Angular. We have three jobs. So deploy Angular is dependent on both the job two and build Angular. Job two was a simple workflow. It has only one step to log a test step. So it has completed. Build Angular is now running. Once this is completed, it will trigger deploy Angular. Now deploy Angular has started and it will be completed. Uh, let's leave it like that. I'll go back to the workflow. Build Angular. Edit. Uh, we specified using array notation but there is another notation as well. I can simply say hyphen and specify the list. So for every job we put a hyphen and specify it. When we use needs and specify the dependencies, this job will run only after these two jobs have successfully completed. But what if you want to run this job after job two and build Angular, no matter whether they are completed or not. In that case, you can use a conditional expression. So you can specify if you can use a dollar expression here. We have a function called always so using this this job will run always after build angular and job 2 have been completed whether they are completed successfully or they were a failure now let me introduce uh, the error again i'll put upload artifact 1 2 3 which doesn't exist and commit the changes we'll go to actions now we see that deploy angular is waiting for build angular and job 2 to complete let's wait for a few seconds so build angular has error unable to resolve actions and job 2 completed successfully we see that deploy angular is triggered even though the dependent jobs are uh, not successful this was triggered so this is how you can configure your workflows by specifying the job dependencies and deciding when this job has to run. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the content, please like, share and subscribe to Interview Pro. Thank you.